Hello everyone, it's Joe here from the Jazz Inspires YouTube channel. I hope you are having a great day. In this video, I will be reviewing the latest album from Indonesian jazz pianist Joey Alexander, entitled Warner. The record, released in January 2020, follows Joey's 2018 project named Eclipse. For Warner, the 16-year-old musician worked with Larry Grenadier on acoustic bass, Kendrick Scott on drums, Luisito Quintero on percussion, and Anne Drummond on the flute. The first track, Warner, shares its name with the album. The song starts with some bongo drums that are soon joined by Alexander's piano playing, which immediately brings a feeling of gentle anticipation. It develops into a melody that's packed with Latin flavour and flair. Larry Grenadier's bass playing is the perfect accompaniment to Joey's piano and Luisito Quintero's animated percussion work. Kendrick Scott's crisp hi-hats and cymbals help to keep things ticking along at a brisk pace. Then, about 1 minute and 10 seconds into the track, there is a bridge section that transports you to a new, exhilarating place that is full of hope and joy. After this cheerful excursion, Joey Alexander delivers a refreshing solo that stays within the style of the song while sounding free and experimental. As this section of the track progresses, Joey does a great job of building a sense of grandeur. His authoritative playing already sets the tone for what is to come on this record. Following this, Joey begins to go back and forth with the drums and percussion of Scott and Quintero, resulting in a fantastic collage of complex rhythms and vibrant chords. This energetic segment eventually brings the track to an end. What an exhilarating way to start the album, I liked it a lot. Things slow down slightly for the next track, named Mosaic of Beauty. The song starts with some brushwork from Kendrick Scott, who is soon joined by Larry Grenadier's acoustic bass and Alexander's elated piano chords. Joey begins playing the core melody of the track, which seems to move between higher and lower octaves with chord changes that create a different yet familiar atmosphere. Grenadier's round bass alongside Alexander's bright piano playing sounds magnificent. About 1 minute and 35 seconds into the track, Alexander begins a jolly solo that makes you feel as if you're taking a merry stroll through a park on a summer's day surrounded by birds and nature. At various points during the song, I found myself smiling and appreciating the agreeable direction of the music. Throughout the number, Kendrick Scott delivers some majestic yet restrained drum rolls that complement Joey's playing well. Mosaic of Beauty is a wholesome track that I enjoyed listening to. Track number 3, Lonely Streets, takes you on an emotional journey. It starts with a sombre tone that conveys a feeling of loneliness and despair. The synergy between Grenadier's bass and Alexander's piano shows on this song as they skillfully paint a picture of someone walking through a dark, empty cityscape. Kendrick Scott's passionate and spirited drum rhythms complement the overall sound and glue everything together. At the 2 minute mark, Alexander begins a captivating solo that moves the mood from a dark place to somewhere more assured and sunny. His playing is energetic, dynamic and mature, an absolute pleasure to the ears. This moody song is a lovely composition and an early standout moment on the record. The next track is named Downtime. It's a busy, upbeat number that sees the return of percussion expert Luisito Quintero, who provides some fantastic bongo drum patterns. His playing combined with Kendrick Scott's energetic drums adds a lot of character to the song. Joey Alexander's spirited melodies remind me of times spent relaxing with family and the moments of creativity that often take place when working on personal projects during downtime. Free time is an opportunity to unwind, 
but for many of us, it is a busy time when we get to work on our passions. For me, this song accurately captures that feeling. Next is a track entitled Affirmation One, which features Joey Alexander playing on his own. It starts as a melancholy ballad that makes you feel as if you are alone, walking within a fantasy. Joey's playing is expressive, emotional, and assumes the role of a storyteller. He showcases his ability to merge captivating melodies with radiant chords that paint a picture of distant, undiscovered worlds. The song is an example of Alexander's ability to explore different themes and ideas with his compositions. It's exciting to witness. Following Affirmation One is a track entitled Inner Urge, which was written by Joe Henderson. The song starts with Alexander, Scott and Grenadier creating a meaningful yet entertaining atmosphere with some bold piano chords, lively drums and a steadfast bass line. About 1 minute and 8 seconds into the track, Larry Grenadier begins an absorbing solo that sounds terrific, supported by Alexander and Scott's gentle playing. Joey follows with a speedy solo performance of his own that takes the intensity of the music to a new level. At this point, it's hard to ignore Kendrick Scott's expertise on the drums as he effortlessly keeps up with Alexander's nimble keys. He keeps things exciting with intricate rhythms and drum rolls. As his strong influence on the track becomes increasingly visible, Alexander and Grenadier stop playing, leaving Scott to deliver a thrilling solo. Inner Urge is a stimulating number that allows each member of Alexander's team to shine. Track number 7, We Hear, features a beautiful flute solo from Anne Drummond that dominates the first half of the track. I would compare her colourful melodies to the fluttering wings of a butterfly, the way they gracefully move with the flow of the music. Alexander does a fantastic job of backing up Drummond's flute with some tender chords and reactive melodies. Next, Alexander takes the reins producing a charming solo that matches the calming aura of the track. Drummond returns for the final third of the song, playing the core melody of the music, going back and forth with Alexander on top of Grenadier's mellow bass playing and Scott's temperate drums. And Drummond's appearance on this number brings a refreshing new element to the sound, a lovely little tune. Next is a grand song named Tis Our Prayer. The entire song is a steady ascent towards a climactic moment. The music sounds as if it could be part of a theatrical performance in the West End. Scott's undulating drums rumble underneath Alexander's imposing, glorious chords, while Grenadier's bass playing stops and starts in line with the energy of the track. Given that the name is Tis Our Prayer, I feel as if the powerful energy within the music represents the power of God and the stirring emotions that accompany prayer and worship. Although it is less jazzy than the other tracks on the album so far, I feel it reveals more about Joey Alexander as a person and his religious beliefs. Following Tis Our Prayer is a track written by Gordon Sumner named Fragile. It's a sexy number that features some intoxicating bass lines from Larry Grenadier. The soft drums and light percussive sounds provided by Kendrick Scott sound great alongside Joey's warm chords and polished melodies. It feels as if the music is telling you a sad story about the fragility of life. Whether we realise it or not, as human beings, we are all fragile. Recognising this can cause you to appreciate life and what you have a little bit more. This is what I took away from this thought-provoking song. It's a fantastic moment on the record. Track number 10, Our Story, contains some lovely percussion elements courtesy of Luisito Quintero. Joey Alexander's performance is heartwarming and graceful. However, for me, this is one of the less memorable songs on the album. Although the music is well structured and played well, 
I don't find the track to be as affecting and striking as the other songs on this record. The highlights are the groovy drums and percussion from Kendrick Scott and Luisito Quintero, respectively. The next song is named Affirmation Free. This number begins in a somewhat abstract fashion, with Joey Alexander and his fellow musicians sounding as if they are warming up. Disjointed drum rhythms, seemingly unplanned bass notes, and irregular piano chords with scattered melodies develop slightly as the song progresses, but never reaching a fully formed structure. It seems as if Scott, Grenadier, and Alexander are on a journey of exploration and have taken you along for the ride. This song is a courageous and conceptual voyage through various musical landscapes. It is a search for something new while dabbling in something old. I love how experimental this is, it's a great track. The final track on the album is named The Light. In the beginning, the song has an ominous aura, which is soon made less gloomy by Anne Drummond's superb flute playing. The vibe of the music transitions from somewhere dark to a place of wonder, mystery, and cautious optimism. The interplay between Alexander and Drummond on this track is fascinating. Grenadier's bass playing adds body and depth to the music, rounding off the overall sound beautifully. This mystical, mysterious moment brings the album to a close with class and sophistication. Great work. In conclusion, Warner is an astonishing album that dares to be experimental while retaining structure and direction. Joey Alexander amazed me with his skill on the piano and his ability to compose music with depth and personality. Once you get your head around the fact that he is only 16 years of age, you're able to appreciate his journey and growth as an artist. The respect that Alexander and his fellow musicians have for one another is evident in the songs. Moreover, it gives Alexander the freedom to explore different realms of jazz confidently. On more than one occasion, the music took my mind to distant lands and triggered a feeling of joy and optimism within me. That is one of the unique things about Joey's music, its ability to relay a sense of appreciation for life, family, spirituality, and jazz. Luisito Quintero and Anne Drummond's appearance on the album gave the music new textures. Also, Kendrick Scott and Larry Grenadier's seasoned playing provided Alexander with a solid foundation for creativity and excellence to thrive. I thoroughly enjoyed listening to this project and will eagerly await new music from this promising young pianist. I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my review, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to the Jazz Inspires YouTube channel for more jazz related content. I hope to see you again real soon. All the best.